Hey there, uh, name is Brian with the Norcold guy. Uh, today we're just gonna go through testing your thermistor. Uh, that's the thermostat, it's a, it's a thermostat slash resistor inside here and it, it always connects up at your light fixture. So uh, what you do is you just, you pinch this, you take your little cover off and you have a little four prong connection back here. Once you disconnect it, your lights go off. You're gonna disconnect this. Taking off the little clip. And then it also clips on back here. A little bit rusty. Okay. So all you're really doing here is you're getting a resistance reading at two different temperatures. So you wanna make sure that the resistance of this is going up and down with the temperature. So if you do have access to a cup of ice water, um, that's one temperature reading you wanna get. Um, it should be reading about 30 ohms. And then in the palm of your hand, you wanna see that it's reading about eight. So hold this in the palm of my hand. You see that two of these are for your light and then two are for the thermostat. I'm getting 16 and you see that this is dropping. This is gonna drop all the way down to nine, 10, maybe even a little bit lower. And that means that your thermistor is working. So typically when a thermistor has failed, it's gonna read open. Um, if it's not reading open and it is a bad thermistor, then that means it's, it's, uh, its tolerance is off by about 20% or, or more. So it's just not reading what it should be at those temperatures. So just, just focus on those two temperatures. Um, you're looking at about 80 degrees in the palm of your hand. Um, the other temperature is gonna be in a cup of ice water. Uh, it should be reading about 32. 30 to 32. All right. And so it's as simple as that. If um, this thermistor did not fix your issue and you're still having some, some cooling performance problems, just head over to the norcoldguy.com and um, you can either sign up for tech support or if you're a past customer of ours, uh, tech support is free. And, uh, you know, we'll walk you through some of the steps you need to go through to get that thing working.